So this has just arrived. Um, when I first started writing this book a couple of years ago, I had just become a parent. Uh, we had welcomed a new child into our family and I was feeling simultaneously terrified, uh, uncertain, excited, but also quite spectacularly bored. Uh, and I realised that that was highly reminiscent of being a research scientist and there was something about parenting like a scientist that was really helpful to me. And so I decided to write a book about parenting like a scientist. So science as it is done, which is a writhing mass of questions, not science as it's usually communicated, which is a load of pat answers. So here it comes. The first coffees pop off. Oh, yes, these gorgeous colours. I feel like it goes very well with my, my previous uh, uh, on swearing. Uh, there's probably more swearing in this than there is in Swearing is Good For You, which is great. Um, but it is bloody gorgeous. <gasps> that is amazing. That is amazing. Oh my god. I spent the first couple of weeks of my daughter's life waiting for the grown-ups to arrive. Yes, absolutely. Oh man. Yes, by the time I became a parent I'd had the perfect training for feeling like I hadn't got the faintest bloody clue what was going on. For incessantly trying things I felt sure would work only to see them fail. For meticulously preparing for hours only to see things go wrong in an instant. In short, if you want to learn what it's like to feel stupid, frustrated, baffled, stressed and bored at the same time, please can I recommend a career in scientific research. Um, but it does contain the only bit of parenting advice you will ever need, which I've stolen from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, it is full of science and jokes and a little bit of swearing and a lot of really interesting things that I have learned along the way about teenagers and altruism, about why teenagers sleep till you know 10 in the morning and why babies don't go to sleep at all, uh, about whether or not you should breast or bottle feed, whatever works for you is the answer. So yeah, I was just looking at this index as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. Julia Donaldson appears in here only twice, not as often as I thought. Uh, a few Dr. Zeus's are mentioned. Um, but also loads of incredible scientists. There's some, ah, look at the footnotes. I, I like to bring receipts. Um, oh my God, it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. So well done, Steve Panton, designer. Uh, well done, the entire team at Souvenir Press and Profile Books. Um, I could not be more excited to see this absolutely gorgeous thing out in the world and if you pre-order it before the 1st of July I also have some really exciting bonus content um, there's a family activity book full of cool experiments you can do on your kids with your kids uh, there is a bonus episode of non-fic pod with some extra content that's normally reserved only for non-fic pod patrons and also I will send you if you send me your mailing address I will send you a signed book plate for your shiny copies or I'll send it to whoever it is that you're buying this for so look out for How to Build a Human in shop soon or pre-order on a Bookshop or Waterstones or Foils or Hive or I'm sure there's another one who sells books but I've forgotten their name. Thanks very much. Bye.